first grade. Welcome back from spring break. So you caught me here as I'm finishing my dinner on Sunday night. And this here is my classroom, but for the last week it's been the dining room for dinner for Liz and for me. But now it's time to transform the dining room, which is usually just very calm, very peaceful. Penny sometimes thinks she can come up to the table. Um, we're gonna transform it back into the classroom. And just like this, I have my magic wand and I'm gonna say abracadabra. Oof. We're back to our classroom here on Marsh Landing Lane. And we're ready to continue on with unit eight in math, which is geometry, fractions, a little bit of time, um, not the kind you cook with, but the kind that you tell by this little clock. All right, so we're gonna start our um, second lesson in unit eight. We talked about polygons, non-polygons, quadrilaterals, the Friday before spring break, and now we're ready to move on to halves. That is the name of our lesson tonight. So I'm gonna start with your math message, and I have done something a little different this time. I'm gonna hold it up for you on a piece of paper. It says, find an object that is divided into equal sized parts. Tell your family member what your object is and how many equal sized parts it has. And how do you know they're equal? Hmm, well, I thought that we could just walk around my house for a moment and I could show you just a couple of equal shares here in my house. And then you can pause the video and find some equal shares in your house. Okay, so the refrigerator here has two equal size doors here on the front. One, two. That's equal size, equal shares, rather. Then we have this cute little piece of tiny furniture that has one, two, three, four, five, six squares. They're all the same size. That is an object that has equal shares. I can tell they're the same. I have one more over here in a piece of furniture. So this is what you can do in your own house. And here, kind of on a diagonal, we have four triangles equal shares because it starts off as a square and they're divided equally. So those are some examples here in my house. You might wanna check out your house and report back to me on our next live chat together. I'll ask, what did you find that are equal shares in your house? So what you're gonna find now is, I'm going to turn to a math journal page, 160. It's right here. You can turn to that page now. And it's asking you about a pancake. You might say, well, Miss Shimba, I don't have a pancake handy. Well, I do. I have this nice clay pancake. Oh dear, it's sort of stuck. Right here, it's a pancake. We might put some bananas on top, some chocolate syrup, some whipped cream. But I'm gonna share this pancake with just one student, equal shares. So I'm gonna smash it down so it's, ooh, not on my Chromebook, so it's nice and flat. <laughs> and I'm gonna take an easy butter knife and I'm gonna divide it to where I think it will be equal shares, just like this. That means I get half a pancake, you get half a pancake. That is our lesson today, is halves, two parts of a pancake. And you're gonna get a chance to draw your own pancake on page 160 in your math journal. So let's take a look here at the board, the lovely board that's back with us now. My pictures have gone, that's okay. So two equal shares. Consider this our pancake, right? Okay, so I divided it the first time vertically, up and down. Here, we've just divided it side to side. But we can tell one half equals the other. That is an equal share. Let's look at this rectangle. We know this is a rectangle because it has a short side, a long side, a short side, a long side. We divide it right down the middle. So when we name one share, we can call it a half. We can call it one half. We can call it one out of one, two parts. 
And even if we sort of kind of talk about a fraction, okay? So a fraction, we've talked about a little bit this year. We can say up here is one of these two parts. And right here is the other one of these two parts. That's a half, an equal share. Same thing over here. This side of the rectangle is one of two parts, one of two parts equal shares. Now, if we're going to talk about naming all of the shares, we can say this is the whole pancake. This is the whole rectangle. Or we can say these are two halves, two halves. And we can say this is two out of two parts. You could also do it that way. So that's going to be something that you'll see as we go through unit eight. And there's a chart that was sent to your parents on the math lesson plans, it kind of looks like this. There you go. All right. Now, as I'm moving right along, I just want to make sure that we're having some fun. Are we having some fun? We're having some fun. We've got some distractions over there with some cats or dogs. I'm not sure who. I can't what doing. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Okay. All right. So, Stop. on page 160, the other part of this lesson is pretty important. So, I did send a scan of this page to your parents. There's some cute little crackers, like saltine crackers. You know, sometimes you might eat those when your stomach's not feeling so great. Okay? So, you're going to need two crackers cut out for this lesson. The other crackers that are left over from this page, right here, are for tomorrow's lesson. Okay, so these two lessons on page 160, it's going to ask for you to show how to share one cracker between two people. All right, so the easiest way to do this, I'm going to do the first one with you here on our video. To make it equal shares, that means both pieces are the same, just fold it in half. It's, it's amazing. Fold it in half, and then you can even take a marker and draw a line just like that. And you're gonna paste this right, I don't have my tape in here, right onto your paper. You can even cut it if you want. You can draw the line and then you can cut it and then get your glue stick. If you have your glue stick from your red pencil bag, I don't think I've asked you to use your glue stick yet. And then, just glue those pieces right there. That's what we'd be doing in class if we were all together, okay? So my challenge to you is, if I divided equal shares on this cracker like this, down here, it's asking you to show another way to divide that cracker. Not exactly like this, there is another way you can do it, and that's what the second cracker's for. So see if you can figure out which way you should fold this cracker, cut it in half, and then put it there to show equal halves, okay? Now, your last question is write a name for one of the equal parts of the cracker or the pancake, okay? And that's gonna be one of these right here, all right? So, that's a lesson on halves. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. No, I'm not. Good for me. All right, so that's the second lesson in Unit 8. We'll do uh, 8.3 uh, tomorrow, the next day. And I look forward to seeing you and hearing about your spring break. Um, that's it. I'm out.